वेलकम टू आर एस एस डी आई टी वी टू थाउजेंड एटीन अहमदाबाद आई एम डॉक्टर शाहू इंगोले एंड यू आर वॉचिंग मी लाइव ऑन द राइट डॉक्टर्स डॉट कॉम एंड आर एस एस डी आई टी वी प्रॉट यू बाय वोकाड़ा फार्मास्यूटिकल्स आई एम ऑनर टू हैव विथ मी द मोस्ट इम्यूनियन पर्सनैलिटी सीनियर एंडोक्रोनोलॉजिस्ट फ्रॉम जयपुर डॉक्टर संदीप माथुर सर सर इज द सीनियर प्रोफेसर एंड हेड डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एंडोक्रोनोलॉजी एंड इन चार्ज ऑफ मॉलिकुलर जेनेटिक रिसर्च लैब एस एम एस मेडिकल कॉलेज एंड हॉस्पिटल जयपुर सो वेलकम टू द शो सर so sir based on your recent talk in rssd i 2018 which was on adipus tissue pathophysiology of asian indian thin fat phenotype we would like to understand from you more about your topic yeah actually uh, my lab my department my research group my collaborators all are trying to answer one question whether asian indian thin fat or lean fat phenotype represent a concept of disease so called adiposopathy you know traditionally we say uh, metabolic syndrome or raven syndrome or syndrome x that is constellation of certain clinical diseases that diabetes hypertension vascular disease dyslipidemia the concept of adiposopathy is that all of them are a clinical presentation of a disease which is involving one specific organ that is largest endocrine organ that is adipose tissue the so called adiposopathy or sick fat so this is a concept of a disease of adipose tissue and clinical manifestation of which include diabetes hypertension dyslipidemia and vascular disease so for to prove that concept that asian indian thin fat phenotype that means asian indians have relatively lower normal bmi or even relatively lower bmi they have more fat and they are at high risk of uh, vascular disease as well as metabolic disorders so so called is phenotype represent adiposopathy so for that purpose my group has done taken around more than 120 biopsies of different reports of the adipose tissue and we used a genomic technique called microarray transcription profiling in that method we see expression level around 23000 genes in one cell so we have high volume of data around 120 biopsies with at least 10 phenotype of every patient we uh, generated information or we gathered the information then expression level of 23000 genes so this large volume of data we have generated and we have done uh, use several of the bioinformatic tools i computational i uh, degree of computational tool and try to figure out some picture of representation of adiposopathy in our patient uh, i will present tomorrow uh, in my oration that all our data points that adiposopathy is a true disease and this concept of adiposopathy has its importance for the pre primary prevention of diabetes your prevention of diabetes primary prevention when the uh, your patient already having impaired glucose tolerance and your insulin resistance proceed in natural history of disease before even impaired glucose tolerance so so called stage of uh, insulin resistance without impaired glucose tolerance that is in time when adipose tissue dysfunction is there and keeping in light the facts that new therapies are emerging which uh, directly influences or favorably affects your adipose tissue dysfunction this concept of adiposopathy given uh, potential space for intervention even before impaired glucose tolerance by intervention and pre primary prevention of diabetes so uh, we are trying to develop uh, molecular markers of adiposopathy so uh, future we see that we diagnose adiposopathy as a primary diagnosis and diabetes hypertension will be a complication of the adiposopathy so this is what i am going to say to you so thank you so much sir for sharing such a excellent research work that you are doing at your center so based on your research finding do you think that it will change the complete scenario of looking at uh, asian thin fat uh, patients as far as the management of the diabetes mellitus is concerned definitely uh, though it is a beginning because first we have to establish at genome at phenome level Uh, particularly with phenomic technique is transcription profiling that this entity exist what is his molecular pathophysiology that we already uh, established now we will start a project on uh, you know uh, longitudinal study uh, we want to generate long term data of following the families with biomarkers of adiposopathy and how they behave in the natural history of the disease 
if it proves right then AWC can be recommended it can come to guidelines as a diagnostic system so to come in practice it will still take some time because uh, anything any data which comes or any biology uh, which is generated to come into practice from a bench to bedside it takes its own time but I am very uh, very much hopeful it will happen in future. So sir on behalf of Okada Pharmaceuticals and RSSDI TV 2018 I thank you for your valuable time so thank you so much. Thank you, thank you very much.